So welcome, Alvaro. I know that you've been developing something called Draw Cell, and we at Absalon really want to share this with the world. And today, I just have a few questions for you about it, and I would love to have you answer them. Sounds right. Okay, so let's just begin with the you know the inspiration because the thought has to come from somewhere. So what inspired you to create Draw Cell? Mm -hmm. So I have a background in like biology, genetics, bioinformatics, and this is what I've done the majority of my life. So uh, I and I was already familiar with the website Unibrot, which is like a like very useful for knowing more about protein. It's like a database database for proteins. And there I saw that uh, you could there was a picture of a cell, and you could in there you could see like the where that like the protein that you were looking for was a uh, present. What if I combine this API of uh, of the Swiss biopics and also and kind of combine it to use it in R? So that's how it, that's what kind of inspired me. It was like a, my desire to learn more about using APIs and my background in in biology, I would say. So everything kind of came together and now it's uh, you know, as we know, it's a it's a pretty cool package to use. Which brings me to how can we use it? You know, where can we experience it or where can we use it? Uh, mm -hmm. Could you shed some light so, on that? So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, the idea that I had for Drosel at the beginning was just, as I said, a proof of concept just for, just for me. And so the idea is that you could have a function that, um, that you provide a, a taxonomical ID of the species that you're interested in. And then you could add like some organelles and then some colors. So you could have the cell of a animal and then you could color the mitochondria, for example. Uh, so with this, you can definitely use it in many fields, let's say, or like in many uh, in many ways, I would say. Definitely, I, I see a lot of potential for, uh, for publications because at the end, if you are using or if you are researching a protein, you can always show a picture of the, of the cell where this protein is expressed and then could show like different level of expression inside that protein so yeah that's one way also i think it's a good idea to use this package for like in conferences where like all the researchers they always have like a poster or they have a presentation so having some visuals is always a good idea i think the more interactive it is the more you know more engaging it becomes for the audience as well so i think that would definitely yes, make the conferences more interesting and exactly, exactly. you know, let's just stem on from there and let's talk about who gains to be impacted. I mean, of course, we've talked about people who are giving conferences and so on, but is there anything else? Because one application that you know comes to my mind is uh, classrooms, because it would definitely make uh, you know lessons completely engaging. So I see that as an application. In your opinion, who gains to be impacted by this? I 100% agree with you, and this is actually one of the, like in the second sprint that we had, we had this in mind, to have it as, to make the user experience as simple as possible, because I wanted not only researchers to use this app, because now it, it is an app, I wanted also my teachers, you know, who wanted to show uh, the picture of a cell, or, or sorry, of a plant cell, and compare it to an animal cell, and then they, the kids could even color the, the, the different parts of the cell just by clicking. So this was actually one of my ideas, and this is why I wanted to have it super simple. Uh, so we didn't want to have only one function. And well, this was my original idea, but uh, recently in Adapsilon, we kind of improved the app a lot. So now we have a web app that the user can just click on, on, on stuff and the, the, the cell will be generated and it's so much easier to create the colors. So yeah, definitely uh, in schools, uh, in academic environments, it's, a huge potential. I think that's actually, you know, one of the best parts about it that I personally like. It's like, you know, it's so versatile because it's not exactly, you know, full fledged with something. So you can just plug and play it into anything. And I think that's one of those really cool things mm -hmm. about about it. And what do you plan to do next, you know, with Drawcell? Because we know that there's an app, we know that there's a package now. What more can we uh, expect from you regarding this? So yeah, so well, originally when I created the, the first uh, the first version of, of the package, I shared it on LinkedIn and the community uh, was very overwhelmed and like 
they receive it very nicely and they already added many suggestions there like they literally told me what to do so i agree with the majority of them that they definitely uh there's a lot of potential to create like a function that would let you add the like a let's say protein level sorry a protein names and then protein levels and then automatically color code the level the expression levels of this protein so make it the comparison of proteins easier because this you would have to kind of tweak around and hack it by yourself right now it's really easy to do it uh, but it's not implemented so right now what we have is just the cell and you can kind of click on the mitochondria and make it in red then click on the chloroplast chloroplast make it in green but if we want to have a protein whatever it is and then for example clue which is a cytosol protein and then if we have some levels of this protein in one uh, in a cell that has been treated with certain drug then that will that the same protein might be different if the if those cells have been treated with a placebo drug so then like comparing these two images are definitely I, I believe the way to go for the future expand into you know a host of apps or a, a, a group of packages or a suite of packages or do you think it will just be you know draw cell and draw cell keeps getting more features something like uh let's say in comparison would it be like deep layer individually or would it, would it become something like tidyverse you know where you have multiple applications multiple uh packages I, I, right now i believe that it will just remain as one app uh i don't i mean definitely there is potential to 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 kind of uh, uh, increase with, with the amount of apps but I, I think we we have to to listen to the community once we share it on LinkedIn again, like the final second version that we are, have almost finished, and also once we share it with Bioconductor and we release it release it there. Uh, we can always hear the community, see what they want, see what they need, and if there is like definitely a room for improvement always. So yeah, let's listen to them and from there we will go on. But for now, I believe it will remain as yes, one simple app. That's a, that's a good idea, you know, to, to listen to the community, crowdsource all those ideas and just take uh -huh. it forward from there. Um, I just wanted to thank you Alvaro, for this, this interview. And this is just exciting, you know, we're at Absalon and you know, we're, we, I know you are excited, I know I am excited. We're ready to share this with the world, hopefully through Bioconductor. And, Let's see where this goes. Thank you so much for this conversation. You're welcome, Deepan. It was really nice.